how can I be humble? And how do I spot someone who is humble? Or how do I spot if someone is being pretentious just to have their way with me or just so they can have opportunities with me? If you're one of the many people that ask themselves these questions, then I'm glad you stumbled on today's video on the Survive and Revive group show. My name is Lady Edna. You can also call me Obasi Maya Santwa, the host and originator of this community. This community has been created so that people would heal themselves and become better people, survive whatever hurts they're going through, and revive it, becoming better people society needs. Today on our pep talk is humility. Do you think you're humble? Well, sometimes I think to myself I am humble, but when I sit back and then reflect, I realize, no, I wasn't humble in this situation or that situation. Many youth have lost so many opportunities because they haven't been humble. There are times you would not realize that you are being prideful, all right? Not being humble takes the form of you being snobbish, you not taking advice, you not seeking advice, how you give your opinions and all of that. Sometimes we shoot ourselves in the leg. I always say this, we shoot ourselves in the legs and tend to turn the table to make other people feel guilty in that we tend to tag them as people that hurt us. But we forget that our actions also give them the opportunity to turn down things for us in our favor. There's this time that um, I'll use myself as an example. I, I did something not so cool and my dad prompted me about it. Um, I, I knew what he was talking about was right, but I wasn't ready to accept my mistake. So in that case, I wasn't humble. So you can, you can tend not to humble when you don't accept your mistakes. You are snobbish. You don't seek advice and all of that. If you want to know how you can become humble, it's a character trait you can adopt, you can learn. If you want to know about character traits, I would urge that you go to our interview we had with um, Mary Mackling of Utopian Trends and know how to develop um, good characters, okay? But today on humility, some of the ways you can, you can adopt or develop humility is accepting your mistakes, one. When you are told of things you have done wrong from a young person, an older person, whoever, accept your mistake. Two, do not compare yourselves with others. If you compare yourselves with others, you will think that, hey, you are higher than they are and tend to speak to them anyhow or treat them anyhow. Then in certain situations, you wouldn't be humble. Three, subject yourself under authority okay there are times that authority may not make very good decisions or very good um how do i put it very good rules and all of that if you want to bring your opinions out fair enough how you bring your submissions out how you bring whatever you want to bring across uh, to carry across tells how humble you are my spiritual father tells me, if you sit at a table of great men, you keep quiet. That is one thing to, you need to do when you want to develop humility. Shush sometimes and be a listener. Listen to people. Listen. Don't always have the answers. You always have to listen and admit the fact that people also have opinions. People also are knowledgeable. People also are are better than you are you are not always right so listen to people listen listen to the opinions of others all these ways are part of processes you can use to develop humility if you are humble in situations and great men see you and even the less privileged see you they can give you reference they can 
speak well of you they can give you opportunity what be it a relationship be it a job opportunity be it um, you developing something in society you may never know regardless if you're if you're dealing with a young person an elderly person less privileged the affluent in society regardless their status in life please be humble be humble you don't know it all all right you don't know it all there's this thing also um false humility that is you trying to pretend or look as if you are humble it is easy to spot all right it is very easy to spot one way you can spot fake humility is from the way that the person speaks, all right, they'll give themselves away. You can only pretend to a point, you know, but when things are not going your way as you expect them, so you are tagged as humble, you give yourself away. Your actions, your, your speech and all of that gives you away. So it is easy to, ha to, to detect someone who is portraying false humility. A dictionary I read, okay, um... On humility describes it as one one trying is a quality that one possess by trying to have a modest view of their importance all right hum, being humble doesn't necessarily mean or doesn't even mean at all that you would have to be a doormat for people to walk all over but it is not lauding your importance or who you are or who you know or what you have over others believe me the youth is my concern every day when i make videos when i do interviews the youth is my concern be humble you may have very great ideas you may have the energy to execute things but the process the way you submit your knowledge makes us know if you're humble or not and being humble opens doors for you marital doors business doors partnership doors what have you just be humble there are times that i know criticisms will come but your ability to stay cool and calm calculated is what makes you humble if you are hurt that an opportunity passes you by, not to worry, that chapter is closed. Be humble. Stay humble even in the most difficult situations. Definitely, it will pay off. This has been your girl, Lady Edna. You can also call me your boss, Maya Santo, the host and originator of the Survive and Revive group show. I'll come your way again soon on um service is going to be an interview with two wonderful two wonderful people all right service to your employer service to your partner service to god we're going to combine all these together people are doing things that are that are not helping them and you know like i always say they feel hurts but sometimes others are not to blame they are to blame all right so until next time See you.